Hello friend, welcome to Marine Engineering Hub. This is your narrator, Chief Engineer Ravi Gupta. Today, we are going to talk about slop tank in a tanker. In today's video, we will see what is the requirement of Regulation 29 of the Annex 1 regarding the slop tank. In today's video, we will see what is slop tank, what is the Annex 1 requirement, where the slop tank is situated. After that, we will see that what are the certain exception which are provided in the case of a slop tank. So please tune till last and guarantee after watching the video your concept regarding the slop tank will be clear. Friend, Marine Engineering Hub is a platform which make video which will be beneficial for examination purpose and for your ship related service. So please encourage us by subscribing. Many of you are watching but not subscribing. Friend, please 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 subscribe and please encourage us. Marine Engineering Hub have started the membership if you want you can join and you can join if you join you will enjoy the exclusive perks friend let's start the today video so what is a slop tank so oil tanker of 150 gt and above should have a slop tank so for what purpose basically slop tank is used so slop tank is provided in a ship for mainly for collection of the cleaning of a cargo tank after that, a dirty ballast residue and the tank washing. All these things can be transferred to a tank which is called slop tank. So if anybody asks you, what is a slop tank? So basically slop tank is a tank where the dirty ballast residue or after cleaning of the cargo tank, the remainings are transferred along with the tank washing. Now let's see what is the requirement of the Annex 1 Regulation 29. So it say that if a ship is provided with a slop tank, it should be such that the combination of slop tank should be such that it ensure that any effluent which is discharged into the sea must comply with the regulation of control of discharge of oil. It means they are talking about ODME. Okay. So they are talking about what? They are talking about ODME. So what they are saying that whenever you are having slop tank, in that case the slop tank should be such that whenever you are transferring from slop tank to the overboard, it should pass through the ODME and it should follow the criteria of the ODME discharge requirement. After that it is saying that the capacity of slop tank should be such that it can able to retain the adequate capacity provided it able to retain the slop generated by tank washing now suppose you have a ship you have got a ship of 50,000 David tonnage which look like this so the amount of cargo tank you have all the cargo tank when undergoes a tank washing all the tank washing sludge or all the tank washing water will be deposited in a slop so that capacity of a slop tank should be sufficient enough to hold this remaining of the tank washing water. It means that you should have a slop tank of adequate capacity to hold the tank washing arrangement water or ballast residue or oil residue. So that is the requirement of the slop tank. After that it say the total capacity of slop tank shall not be 3% of the oil carrying capacity of the ship. So now you understand. So let me show you one thing here. Now this is a suppose this is around Aframax tanker. Now if suppose this is provided with a 7 starboard tank and 7 port tank. The 8 tank will be a slop tank. 8 slop tank and 8 port 8 port will be the these two tank will be the slop tank ok now these two port of slop tank will be situated where it will be situated here as you can see the mark it will be situated here so the slop tank will be provided here so if from here to here you have got seven wing tank on the starboard side and seven in the port side in that case you will get a two slop tank at the end for the 
collection of the residue for all the which will be generated during the tank washing of this cargo tank or the dirty ballast which is taken here to be transferred here when you are collecting cargo in that tank so you understand that so now if anybody asks you what is a slop tank you know what is a slop tank what's your total capacity so the capacity of slack slop tank should be can be more as per your requirement but it should not be less than the three percent it means that if you have a ship of 10,000 if you have a ship of 10,000 in that case you should have at least how much at least 300 ton 300 ton of at least you should have slop tank arrangement so you now get that so let's see now the exception so the slop tank as you know as per the regulation it should not be less than the three percent of the oil carrying capacity of the ship but certain exception is provided by the administration depending upon the ship so what i have told you now suppose this is a ship of 1000 gt in that case 300 will be the capacity of a slop tank now you can have a capacity more but you cannot have a less than three percent but you are provided with certain exception what exception now if you have a you can reduce it to two percent of the total capacity of the oil carrying capacity of ship if you have a tank washing arrangement which is such that once you fill the slop tank the water which is collected in a slop tank is sufficient enough to provide driving fluid for the eructor and you don't need additional water into the system for the washing of the oil tank which is on board please hear carefully is saying normally it is less you cannot have a slop tank less than three percent of the oil carrying capacity but you can reduce it to two percent if once you charge the slop tank with the water and that water should be sufficient enough for providing drive for the eductor without additional introduction of water in the system and that also can provide water sufficient enough for washing all the tank which you have on the boat okay second is say that if you are provided with the segregated ballast tank now this is the segregated ballast tank arrangement means in the double hull tanker this area is basically dedicated to the segregated ballast tank so if you are provided with a segregated ballast tank arrangement in that case or dedicated clean ballast tank arrangement in that case where a cargo tank cleaning using co2 is fitted in that case you can reduce it to the two percent so if your ship is provided with the segregated ballast tank arrangement in that case you can see the total capacity of a slop tank can be around two percent of the oil carrying capacity now this can be further reduced to 1.5 percent if the same thing which i have told you earlier if the arrangement is such that it is sufficient for the tank washing it means that the if 1.5 percent now let's take example now suppose you have a, you have a ship of having 100 ton so it means that 1.5 ton 1.5 ton of water which is suppose this will be the capacity of your slop tank if you suppose if your ship is 100 ton then 1.5 ton of a water which collect will be the capacity of your slop tank and that water should be sufficient enough for providing the dry fluid to the eductor and also sufficient enough for the tank washing if you think that that much water can be sufficient for your tank washing and for providing a driving of a fluid then you can reduce this to 1.5 percent but if you are having SBT arrangement, then you can see that you will you have have a tank capacity of two percent. Now, you can reduce. You can see if you are part of the combination carrier, where you can carry oil cargo and also you can carry other type of cargo like bulk cargo. In that case, what can happen? Where the oil cargo carries in tank with a smooth wall means in the combination carrier, we will see what happen. The oil cargo which is carried is carried in a 
smooth wall so therefore as it is ca oil cargo is carried in a smooth wall therefore the water requirement will be much less while doing the tank washing so is here as you can see this is the arrangement for a chemical tanker so here you can see this is a wing tank this is a center tank two center tank is provided and this is a wing tank so as you can see here now this wing tank has got the bulkhead which is segregated in nature means it is zigzag in nature as you can see here okay so in order to clean this type of arrangement the water requirement will be much more but if your this side bulkhead this wall bulkhead is like bottom means this like this smooth in that case what will happen the amount of water required will be much less hence if the combination carrier what is happening as the oil carried in a smooth wall therefore the capacity is one percent one percent of what of the total oil carrying capacity no for example 100 ton is the total carrying oil carrying capacity suppose of a oil tanker then one ton amount of water will sufficient enough for your oil tank washing now you can reduce it to move further 0.8 percent you can go if same it means that if that amount of water is sufficient for your tank washing and for providing the drive to your eductor without any additional requirement in that case you can have the reduced capacity so friend you now understand that there are certain exceptions are provided in a slop tank arrangement so basically these things are asked with depending upon your situation so you should un you should know that first you should know that what should be the ideal capacity of a slop tank so that should be not less than three percent but if in the examination they ask you can you reduce a slop tank capacity your answer should be yes depending upon the scenario what scenario they are are given total five scenario one two three four five scenario the first scenario is for oil tanker two percent where second is for sbt two percent third is that 1.5 percent if you further combining with the capacity one is the one percent for commission carrier and further if you are complying so in the last two case you are seeing for sbt and combination carrier standard is two percent and one percent but if you are complying with the capacity arrangement that you without and in doing any recharging of the fluid and the amount of water in the slop tank is sufficient enough for tank washing then you can reduce it to further so friend in today video you have learned that what is slop tank where the slop tank is positioned how much amount of slop tank is provided and what are the exceptions so if you like the video then please do subscribe and please do share friend if you're watching till now i understand that you want to clear the examination so please subscribe to my engineering hub and enjoy the exclusive park thank you friend